Hey, greetings and salutations. Happy Home Brew Wednesday. <sighs> I'll have to do. Hello, how's it going? I've just been doing some brewing operations uh, with my big CQ hat on. Available at merch.secu.com. <laughs> Take that off for the moment. So, here, look. Mini kegs. Now, this is my partial AG IPA. That's the one, remember, I messed it up. I mentioned that last week. That was the one where I messed the mash up and I had to dump some DME into it. Uh, I've dry hopped it with Simcoe for a week and I've just kegged it tonight. And I've got some bottles of it as well. Um, so it's, it's tasting pretty good even at the minute. After some conditioning and carving, I'm sure it'll be lovely. And it's 7.3%. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of struggling for things to talk about this week. Um, some of you may have already seen the student brewing video that I released. Now there's a funny story behind that because I released it um, and the original video had a, a sequence of me cleaning this worktop uh, to the prodigy and I was just mucking about really. But one of the first comments um, and to be honest I, I remember most of the comment but I was trying to look at my Google Plus later and I can't work that bloody thing to find out who it was that made the comment. Said that he loved my videos but he didn't think I should be showing that method of siphoning. You know, where you suck on the end of the siphon and then there you go. Um, and that made me think to be honest because I totally respect what he said um, because he's right, there is another way you can do it which involves filling your uh, siphon full of sanitizer, and then, well, it's a more complex operation. Um, he could probably describe it better than I can. Uh, I did find some videos on exactly how to do it. Um, the idea of the student brewing videos is about basics, really. Absolute rock bottom basics. And I, I totally appreciate that within the home brewing community, there will be difference of opinion about what you should and shouldn't teach newcomers to home brewing. Um, I think there always will be difference of opinion, to be quite frank though. I can't disagree with my friend who bought a bumper sticker from me. Thank you very much indeed to put on his fermenter. I really appreciate that. Um, I totally respect the fact that you went and you, you basically told me what you think and that's that's good. That's what that's what this community is all about. It's about getting together and discussing ideas. Um, I think what, so once I'd read that comment I actually made the video private and I think a few people were looking at it going what the hell, Secu's made his video private god damn it you son of a bitch I want to watch that damn video but of course I couldn't carry on with that video the way it was I felt that I needed to put something up prior to the video starting so I took the video down I edited it slightly, I took the sequence out where I was sanitising the worktop because that was a contradiction right enough. Um, I suppose you could say that the whole sanitising generally in home brewing and the method of, of siphoning using sucking is, is a contradiction, certainly is. Um, but I, I felt I should take that out, so I took that out and I put a disclaimer up at the front basically just saying there are other methods of doing it. This is just the basic version. And it does work. And I've done that loads and loads of times. And, you know, I'm sure we've all done that loads and loads of times. And not had any problems whatsoever. However, there are other methods of siphoning, certainly. I might do a video on that uh, at some point in the future. 
Anyway, on to lighter subjects. Are you in the UK? Like me? You know, the UK? See that Union Jack flag? Oh, imagine how proud you'd feel walking down the road with one of those on your head, eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. So next summer, there's going to be a beer festival. I believe Uncle Jonah has already mentioned this. When I was speaking to Uncle Jonah about it, it was kind of just like a, what do you think? Jonah, I didn't actually mean for you to tell everybody about it at that point, but what the hell, you've done it now, mate? You've done it now, and I, I am totally intending to go down to that. Beer festival. What beer festival am I talking about? It is the Retford. You know Harry Bruce 69? He's from Retford. East Retford in, I think it's Yorkshire. Or is it Yorkshire? Somewhere down there in England, any road. Anyway, I'm thinking about going to the Retford Beer Festival, which doesn't have actual dates up for 2014 yet, but it's probably going to be... April. I think it's April. Is it April? I'll need to check the website. But anyway, I'm thinking about going down there. Um, we're probably going to make a, a holiday of it and nip down and see some family that we've got in that area as well. Do you fancy the Retford Beer Festival? Let's all nip over to the Retford Beer Festival website. I'll put it up here. I've already emailed them asking when's next year's. I've not had any response. I asked Harry and he said well they're probably not even bothering thinking about it just now and he's probably right. Anyway if you fancy going to it, you fancy having a drink with me, <laughs> Big Secure at the Retford Beer Festival, then put a comment down below. Let's see what everybody thinks. We'll meet up down there for a pint. Um, it would only be one night I'd be there, but uh, I'd like to meet everybody. So if you fancy a perhaps a day trip to Retford, or if you live nearby, or if you think you could book a travel lodge in the area, if you could get there by hook or by crook, if you could claw your way from the depths of the southeast, then come and see me. Let's have a drink. I'll let you buy me one. And finally, and finally, Mrs. Sikiu is actually away looking after her mum's dog, or dogs rather, uh, at the minute, uh, for tonight and tomorrow night. So that means I've got the house to myself and that's why I've managed to do some kegging this evening. Um, and tomorrow night I'm gonna do the Cider. This, remember the cider I've been talking about for fucking ever? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Right, and I've got the stuff laid out here. Champagne, no, sorry, cider yeast. Champagne yeast and oak chips. And I've got the hops up the stairs, Ruwaka and Nelson Sovin. Two Demijohn. Sterilising. They are ready to go. So I'm going to get that done tomorrow night. We'll start the video. <laughs> Take that, Chuck Brockman. Ha! How's that for a dirty mouth, Chuck E. Cheese? We'll see you in a video in the new year. Nice. Whew. Right, well, it's Wednesday evening. I came in from work and started kegging after walking the dog. So, uh, I'm going to make some, some dinner now. I'm going to make something to eat. Oh, and sweetie, Mrs. Sikiu, if you're watching, I'll remember and get the Christmas decorations down from the loft. And I'll do the housework as well on Thursday night. Right. I love you all. See you next time. Boom, bear, bear, boom.